बातचीत को आगे बढ़ाते हुए मैं डॉक्टर माधवन नायर जी को आमंत्रित करता हूं। मैंने बताया आप सचिव हैं मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ अर्थ साइंसेज में इनका इन्होंने सालों तक मॉनसून पे काम किया है ये आगे की गुड़ बातें हमें समझाएंगे गुड इवनिंग ऑल ऑफ यू आई एम एक्सट्रीमली हैप्पी टू बी हियर एंड एड्रेस टॉक अबाउट मनसून अबाउट मनसून एंड बिफोर डूइंग दैट आई वुड लाइक टू कंग्रेचुलेट Uh, down to earth for the 25 years of service and uh, more and more contribution from down to earth team and i am also happy to uh, hear from uh, sunida saying that monsoon meter but two monsoon scientists should be appreciated and uh, acknowledged um, uh, so i'll be speaking about little bit about monsoon uh, in a very simple language and that's why i did not have any formal presentations and uh, as you as uh, sunida says that monsoon is the finance minister of india and uh, as also it is a part of indian culture um, i come from kerala and um, in the kerala the school reopens at uh, on 1st of june and when i was a small boy i used to school go to school 1st of june is also the onset date of monsoon over kerala so it always invariably i get wet Uh, once I come back from the school, and I used to remember. Still, now I remember why my father used to wrap my books with a small polythene kind of papers, and make sure that I am the books are not wet, even though I am wet. And uh, so, monsoon is a huge climate climate system. Basically, it is defined as reversal of wind accompanied by reversal in the atmospheric circulation as well as the precipitation. and uh, as sunita says that monsoon climate is caused by small temperature difference between land and ocean land during summer because it heats gets heat up heated up much faster than that of ocean because the heat capacities are different and so you get uh, temperature gradient temperature gradient leads to pressure gradient pressure gradient leads to the reversal of wind and so from winter to summer there is a reversal of the wind the wind comes from southern hemisphere when it crosses the co- uh, equator it uh, turns into westerly wind that's why we call our our monsoon june to september monsoon we call as southwest monsoon because it comes from southwest direction monsoon uh, monsoon uh, climate is not seen everywhere it's uh, see, we are very lucky indians we lu- indians are very lucky that we have a beautiful monsoon system climate system we are fortunate we had we had a lot of rains we get we think about uh, indian indian population without a monsoon you can think even with monsoon rains we are struggling with uh, a lot of issues and uh, monsoon is there in uh, whole south asia including pakistan bangladesh sri lanka we also have an east asian monsoon where especially over china and adjoining region we have an uh, monsoon over africa uh, it's called african monsoon and northern parts of australia gets uh, monsoon they call australian monsoon and nowadays we uh, we find that there is a monsoon climate in over north america uh, close to mexico etc monsoon has a history of at least 20 million years and uh, in fact we have a, a coral uh, sorry a core uh, drilled over arabian sea north arabian sea and uh, the observations um, dated up to 18000 18 million years back and uh, monsoon initially was very weak and monsoon the whole monsoon circulation or climate has come mainly because the indian plateau is uh, colliding with india uh, eurasian plate and the whole tibetan uh, himalayas grew up and because of the tibetan plateau the uh, monsoon circulation has started so tibetan plateau has a very major role in monsoon circulation and uh, we have as i told we have two monsoon one is southwest and another is uh, that is june to september and another one is uh, northeast which is uh, basically Uh, confined within the southern region southern states is called northeast monsoon and uh, south monsoon southwest monsoon is basically contributes about 70 to 90 percentage of our annual rainfall and um, so that's why it is very important for our agriculture uh, not only agriculture many other sectors monsoon rainfall is very very important and monsoon varies in all time scale it varies hourly in time scale it varies on daily time scale monthly seasonally years decades uh, centuries millennium millennium time scale so it has a large variability 
and uh, if you take a um, uh, monsoon season june to september and average over the whole india that mean you take all rainfall data just average june to september 122 days of rain you get 89 cm of rain and that's average uh, 89 cm that uh, that the interpretation how you do is uh, whatever rain comes don't allow the water to go away and at the end of uh, monsoon season or 30th september there will be 89 cm almost close to 1 meter of rain spread throughout the india so you can just uh, just gauge how much rain we get how much amount of water we get 1 meter of depth of rain spread over throughout india that is the amount of rain we get but still after few months we talk about as a water scarcity water water uh, reduction of water etc and uh, so it monsoon uh, um, uh, as i told that it doesn't rain everywhere um, equally uh, we get uh, very less rainfall over northwest india especially rajasthan gujarat etc we get maximum rainfall along west coast as well as northeast and um, so it monsoon varies specially and also temporarily in monsoon where has a lot of variability in a temporal time scale as a time scale and uh, it varies in a daily time scale seasonal time scale and year to year variability also is very large so that will lead to droughts and floods uh, and uh, and also we have a beautiful 30 year cycle if you really see that monsoon every 30 year we will have an epoch of droughts and followed by floods at present we are in the epoch of uh, droughts major droughts we tend to get more floods uh, more droughts during this epoch and uh, epoch uh, so, so last few years if we take 2002 4 9 last year 15 so frequent droughts so we can expect more frequent droughts in the next uh, few years and uh, and impact on agriculture and gdp is very high and for example we have made an analysis of monsoon variability year to year variability on monsoon uh, sorry indian agriculture output so indian agriculture output as you know that 17% of gdp comes from agriculture sector earlier it was 50 and uh, even 17% is very crucial for gdp so our analysis shows that a drought of uh, our last magnitude of minus 10 percentage can cause 2 to 3 percentage reduction in gdp it's very large but the same amount of 10 percentage additional amount when you go into the positive side flood will not give a proportionate benefit to gdp that means the benefit the loss is very appreciable when the monsoon is on the negative side or we when we get drought the impact will be very high but when we get good monsoon we are probably we are not able to make use of the rainfall into a good agriculture product output and also it is doesn't have a good impact on gdp that is the thing and we also have a good understanding about el nino southern oscillation these are the phenomena which affects monsoon variability from year to year variability and now the recent study shows that even indian ocean plays an important role and a very important thing is the characteristics of monsoon rainfall as sunitha as just now she was mentioning about the 100 uh, hours of rainfall It's very interesting. Out of 122 days and 24 hours, multiplied by 24 hours, it just rains to 100 hours everywhere, most of the places. Of course, the west coast may be still higher. And another interesting thing is, the 50 percentage of the rainfall, the quantum total seasonal rainfall, comes in 20 percentage of the total duration. That means, you know, for example, I can give an example in Ahmedabad. It gives it rains 79 centimeter seasonal rainfall. and it rains in 122 120 hours and the 50 percentage of the 79 about 40 cm just rains in 16 hours so that type of quantum of rainfall so when it rains it it rains very heavily so remaining uh, rain comes in 1 mm 2 mm so this characteristics is not well known to the people especially water resources people i am not sure whether they really know about this characteristics so it is very important for water resources management when it drains it drains heavily the most of the water goes runs off it's a it's simply runs off and remaining 2 mm 1 mm just evaporates off so unless you have a good mechanism of storing water that's why the the, the water management uh, people should really think about storing water don't allow water to flow away and water is a fluid it will always flow so you may have to make, do mechanisms to store water as much as possible and uh, so you need to conserve water that is a very good message which i would like to mention and um, because monsoon varies our job is to predict and um, uh, it is a very tough job as i as i as i will tell you last 30 years i have been in this job uh, last 30 years i have been chasing monsoons and um, my colleagues call me monsoon man 
And uh, so prediction, as far as prediction is concerned, I will tell you, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no two monsoons are identical. So you cannot say that this year will behave like last year. So no two monsoons are identical. Every monsoon is very unique. And um, only what we know very clearly is it comes sometime in June and goes back in sometime in September. That we are very sure. Uh, in between, uh, there are a lot of problems, and we, which we try to address. We have a monsoon mission we have launched a few years back with 400 crore project. Government of India is supporting a lot. They are encouraging us to do a lot of research. So we are trying to improve our monsoon forecast. Hopefully, the things are improving. We have now reached to a level where the monsoon for forecast can be relayed and uh, believed. And uh, monsoon rainfall trends, I will not mention, because nowadays we tend to get more intense rainfall events and compared to the previous years. Future, uh, if you talk about future climate of monsoon, also we are trying to get an uh, image saying that the intense rainfall, even heavy rainfall events will be more. So when it rains, it is going to rain very heavily. So that, we, so we, so that will add to more problems to the variability and also more problems to the prediction. When it rains more, then it, you have flooding issues, then you have to have a flooding flood forecasting system, so you need to improve the flood forecasting system. The complex kitties are more and more um, uh, happening. And uh, 16 monsoon characters I will not mention, so monsoon 16 also was a, as equal as any other monsoon season. It was very complex. We had a lot of issues and a lot of questions we are trying to answer. So I will summarize it last, as I told the last 30 years, I am chasing monsoon. But if you ask me a question, how much do you know about monsoon, I will tell I know very little. And uh, maybe people, my colleagues used to say that you are very humble, that's why I'm saying that you, are, you know very little. But I'm, it is true that I am a very humble person, but at the same time it is true that I know very little. Thank you.